All right, y'all, look, look, look. It's, it's been, oh, 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 we good. It's been a while. It's been a minute, all right? Matter of fact, let me, hold on. Let me turn on my, uh, yo, <laughs> we live, baby. We live. Listen, um, those of you don't know, this week or the week that this, uh, that I'm recording this, it might be a later time when you're viewing it, but this week we're recording this, um, we are remembering Frankie Beverly. Frankie Beverly. And I haven't done a lesson. I've had requests for me to do lessons, and I haven't done a lesson. And so I want to take advantage of this time as we're reflecting and re we're remembering um, Frankie Beverly. Uh, I got a couple of songs in mind, a couple of songs in mind. One uh, is the, uh, one, the, the, I guess, probably his most popular listen. This is the cookout song. The, I mean, this is the song you're going to hear. All right, okay. And every, not, not, this, not this color, people. <laughs> But at every black cookout, huh? You probably gonna hear this song at every uh, African American family reunion. All right, they gonna do some line dancing and everything, and you are gonna hear this song, huh? You know what song? You make me happy. <laughs> What's the? I think the bass line. Let me see what this bass line is. Uh, I think it's something. And I'm, I'm just, I'm. We gonna, we gonna play around with it. Um, I'm just telling you what I'm what I'm hearing and everything. And uh, Lord forgive me if I'm wrong and if I'm misrepresenting um, anything. But uh, hopefully we can get through it and, and kind of sound good. Um, that's enough about me. But I think it's that's what I'm that's what I'm hearing that bass line doing. Um, and I, I I really hope that's correct. I'm definitely not a bass player. Um, but for what what I'm doing here, y'all see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm on. Uh, fret number uh, seven, yeah, seven, five, seven, yeah, seven, and that's uh, nine, so seven, nine, ten, nine, and then the next fret down. And it, it might actually be played up here somewhere, uh, but this is where I'm playing it. I bet, hold on, hold on. Somebody help me. Is that, is that right? So around that, um, what I'm thinking, I kind of hear, I hear that B minor, but I really think, I think it's more on that uh, F sharp minor. Um, and the reason for that is uh, when I'm hearing these lead licks. I'm not going to listen. I'm not the one to just break down lick for lick and everything. And I'm not trying to take away from the integrity of the song. Okay. Um, they do have tabs and I'm sure you can find other lessons on that. But I want you to understand what's being played here. So I'm thinking because this is heavy on F sharp minor. So, okay. And you'll hear that in the song. All I'm doing is that F uh, minor, F sharp minor pentatonic scale. So this. And then you can extend it. Now all that. That's what, that, so that's F sharp minor. So I'm thinking that this song is probably in the key of A. So uh, let's see. Let's hit, hold on. Cause okay, if this. If this is where my, my bass line start, right here on this B. If that's right, y'all help me. I know y'all gonna correct me if I'm wrong. So, 
if that's the bass line, then, and I want to play some rhythm behind it, like I said, you can do the... stuff like that all that the, all that and all I'm doing I'm palm muting a little bit but the rhythm if I wanted to play some rhythm behind it okay so I know it's around F sharp minor and uh a major. All right, so those are some A major. All right, and here's that F sharp minor seven. And here's that B. And if it starts on B, so so the bass line is. So let's see. Okay. Okay. So let's let's uh, let's take that approach. I like that approach. You might not get in nobody's way on that because you don't want to get in the bass player's way. You don't want to get in your own way. So if you're trying to play some rhythm behind it, it might be. Okay, so if you wanted to, because you do have this minor, F sharp minor pentatonic down here. All that, you got all that, right? You got all that. And uh, like I said, let's... If we take it up here, let me see. I, we, we got my sound off a little bit, y'all. We're gonna get it together, though. We're gonna get it together. It's too much. We want, we want happy. We want happy. If I pop this out, we can get a little more funky. some licks. So I also do, I think, some E. Because you see, that's a piece of E and a little bit of D. So let's see. What if we...
does that work? Why does the D major and the E major work? That's the four and the five. They work because the D, remember we was doing B? That B minor is the relative minor of D. And the E is that relative minor of that C sharp minor. Well, that, that, that sounded good. Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Hold on. Just did that because the F sharp minor is the relative minor of the major, A major. So, and then it goes. Uh, That's it, okay, so D major, oh, so, so we can use that D ma major 7, alright, that's D major, pick that up, that's D major 7, alright, E, E, we could do an E, E7, an E dominant 7, how's that sound? like that D I like D major and then I like that I like that that, that, that sounds good to me so but now and then I okay all right so D I think that's it. I think that's it. So from the D major seven. That's B B minor. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know the song like that. I don't know. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get it up for y'all. That's easy. Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. And, then, and but I, st I, I still need to work on this rhythm, y'all. I 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta get hold on. Listen, I, it's something like this. All right, y'all forgive me. I'm just, I'm just reflecting right here. Uh, maybe I should have been better prepared. So. Should I go A? So I think I. I think this is key of D. I think this would be D. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. This would be key. I think this is key of D. Oh, look, that, that slide, sliding into that. I know the song got to go like that at some point. Yeah, is it? No, let's see. Do it go to it? Hey, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. Let me let me, um, let me start with the bass line. I think that's it. Ah, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. And y'all see that? That's how you can figure stuff out. I don't. I don't even know if that's right. Forgive me if that's not right. Don't charge it against me, okay? I'm just trying. I'm trying here. I'm trying here. Um, Y'all know how we do here on PJ Guitar. Y'all know how we do, but uh, we're going to have some uh, some maestros uh, hop in the uh, comments and um, and tell us how it really go. I know we is. I know we is. I know y'all help me out, and I don't, I'm not offended at all. Help me out because I'm trying to learn this here guitar myself. And, uh, but I also hear this. Hold on. I don't know. Because I did something while I go. G major seven. Is it? I don't know. You play the 
G try it, G major try it. So D major seven. G major seven. Or I don't even know. G major. Why do I hear this F sharp minor? I don't know. F major? Why? I don't know why that works. Or maybe because sometimes I hear a D minor. Maybe this got something to do with it. I don't know. G major. F sharp. Minor. Oh. All I, I just, back to the G. I'm really just making a way up, so it probably could go. I don't know the key of this song, y'all. Help me, somebody help me find out. Is it D major? Cause while ago I was playing. And why does the C sit? I know, that's gotta be, hold on, hold on. Maybe that's it, that's the chorus of Okay, so look, the verse, I'm th and that, look, I might be wrong, I might be wrong. I would have to play along with it to actually know. Oh, I'm sorry. D major 7. A minor 7. Dominant seven. Back to the top. Oh. And then um I think there's a song. Oh, uh, what's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right there put that thing right there open that thing up right there you go oh uh.
Let's see if this. Let's see how they go. So right here, you can just be, be mine all day. A happy feeling, yeah. What what is it? I'm gonna share happy feeling. I don't know the word. Man, listen, I, I, listen. Let's see. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I, that might have been all over the place, but I'm just taking a moment to remember. And maybe something that was played here, something I've done, can help you along your guitar journey. If anything, let it help you remember Frankie Beverly. Huh? And the blessing that he brought us with singing and music and happy feeling. <laughs> Listen, okay, look, on the way out of here, on the way out of here, let's do uh, three minutes. We're going to do three minutes of just jamming right there on that, uh, what would that be? If this is the one from the six and the two, oh, excuse me, and the dominant two, I don't know. I don't know what key this is. I'm just going to, for now, I'm going to call it the key of D, which is one, but we're going to jam on the six to the dominant two. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna play no lead. I'm just gonna chuck. I'm gonna chuck while I while I chuck and get funky. You play the lead, and like I said, you can and you can probably do some. I don't know. You let's have fun. Let's have fun. 